Hi, this is Timothy Schutte with Exit Realty Capital City and the Timothy Schutte Real Estate Team. Welcome back to my video blog. Today we're going to talk about the difference between a traditional sale, a short sale, and a foreclosure. A traditional sale is, an arm, is really an arm's length transaction and it's defined as somebody who you don't know you buy from or sell to. Um, that you're not related to or live next to or something like that. A short sale is kind of the opposite of what you think it is. It's not short on the timeline to, to, for the sale. It means that the, the seller doesn't have the equity in the home to pay off the mortgage that's there or mortgages in, in some situations. What that can mean is that it's a very long, it can be a very long drawn out process to get the banks to approve writing off that dollar amount or, or the difference would be if the owners had the cash to be able to make pay the difference off. And then you have the foreclosure. The foreclosure is when the bank files a motion with the county to kick out the owners and to take over the ownership of the property and they go and sell it. Some people will say that a short sale could be could look like a pre foreclosure because the short sale, some quite often they are, the owner is behind on payments. And so then the bank has the right to start that, that foreclosure. Um, the trickiest ones to me are the short sales. The short sales, I feel like take the longest in what I see in the marketplace. Foreclosures, you at least have a, uh, a seller that has the ability to sell without having to go talk to a bank or whoever holds that mortgage. Lastly on this, um, when you look at the timelines and what can come up, your short sales and your foreclosures are going to have more liens on them or the potential for liens that might take a little delayed closing. So you've got to be very, very cautious of that part of it. A traditional sale is always going to be the easiest, smoothest transaction given the fact that the, the process is going to be followed easily without having a, a lien come up that a foreclosure attorney may have missed. With that said, it's what you as a client are looking for in the house and what it does for your situation that matters the most to us and what we show you. If you have any questions on the differences between those types of transactions, feel free to reach out and we would be happy to walk you through them. This is Timothy Schutte with Exit Realty Capital City.